TNZ uh, is very unique. The Uganda Manufacturers Association has joined forces with GIZ, a German development agency, under the project development program aimed at promoting the industrial application of photovoltaic solar technology in Uganda. Over the past 13 years, UMA and GIZ have partnered on several development initiatives, including skills enhancement, environmental conservation, and efficient energy management. To facilitate knowledge sharing in capacity building, UMA organized a two-day training course that included a tour of Kosu Hospital and Sprouts of Water in Entebbe. This is the first scenario that we have is with our consumption is greater than the solar generation. What happens to the solar system? This hands-on experience enabled participants to grasp the achievements and challenges associated with acquiring such systems and the best practices for their installation. During the tour, Mr. Joseph Chalimpa, UMA's training manager, highlighted the tour's pivotal role in ensuring manufacturers have access to reliable, affordable, and high-quality energy for sustainable production and consumption. It's to save the environment, because when you have this system, then you are going to use less generator, uh, generator fuel, so that means you are reducing the greenhouse effects. Two, you are also saving money. In the long run, it is cheaper. Dr. Moses Muhumuza, the manager of patients with disabilities, mentioned that the hospital acquired a solar system with assistance from GIZ. This system significantly reduced operational costs. Through saving uh, electricity and uh, money generated from, I mean, money spent on diesel and electricity, we have uh, managed to uh, pay for surgeries for children and rehabilitative surgeries and uh, prosthetics and orthotics for different children that have benefited over time uh, since June of this year because our, our consumption of power has gone down significantly thanks to the solar project. Similarly, Mr. Amos Sangi, the production manager at Sprouts of Water, indicated that their power usage has decreased by more than 50% following the solar installation, leading to a reduction in their monthly electricity expenses from over Ugandan shillings 3 million to about Ugandan shillings 1 million. So we used to have a lot of power blackouts. On average, we used to close to two days a week. That is why we brought in the solar system. So the solar system was basically to ensure that you have sustainability of power to run the machineries. The utilization of solar energy for industrial purposes encompasses five interconnected pillars that include environmental conservation, green energy, green self-regulation practices, waste management, capacity building, and awareness creation. This holistic approach aligns with the global trend toward more sustainable and environmentally responsible industrial practices. Mariana Wari and Jamil Sekaja, UBC.